promise that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs. Yep, all the ins and outs. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. Than an overgrounder, you know, he'll never tell you. <laughs> yeah, never. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You, uh, when did you get here? Uh, th this isn't just hide and seek, okay? Let me explain. It's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sampo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is. But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide-and-seek. Do you get it? so nice. Hey, are you done with your secret talk? The mole's time is precious. Yeah, precious. Okay, okay, we're done. Pitch Dark Hook the Great. This is my friend. She also wants to join the moles. Can she play too? Um, sure. I guess so. Then, you guys are seeking... <sighs> Boss... They don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Mm, you're right, Julian. Okay, let's do a practice one. I'll hide. You two have to find me. So, you kids think you're better than us, huh? Just you wait and see. It's simple. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. <laughs> Bring it on. All right. Now we're playing for real. You got to count to 50 before you open your eyes. No cheating. 47, 48, 49, 50. <laughs> Ready or not, here I come, naughty children. The moles haven't lost a game for ages. unless you can answer this question. What? But we caught you. What's with the... Uh, I thought I had you there.
mein. Something's not right. That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and seek might have to wait. Let's see what he wants. Hmm. My instincts are telling me something's not right with this. That's because I'm tall. And old. I'm a grown man. Ask anyone. All right, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. <laughs> but I'm Julian of a thousand faces. Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. What will the boss think? No need for the melodrama. That was still a magical performance. <laughs> I uh, uh, I'm sorry. Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? What villainy is this? <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. About time I got some credit for it. So Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. The boss of the moles is true to her word. I saw the blue-haired guy kick your dark-haired friend in a fight. The fight club? I thought the first troll was. <laughs> <laughs> the great. Where is the fight club? Can you show us the way? Hmm. But it's an obvious building. Oh, they're just useless. Come with her. I'll take you over. Thanks, oh great one. That pitch dark hook the great to you. I bet you could shorten my title. A club just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Uh -huh. In fact, it's awesome! They let you take part? When did this place last have an inspection? Loads of kids take part. Ah, despicable. Everything underground. Ooh, they need one more player there. I, I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. Today's most spectacular, spine tingling, earth shattering contest. Oh, hello. Recommended 
by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cold Dragon Young! And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, incendiary, explosive might of Team Robomatic! All praise to Boss Farag! Given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of Team Robomatic, Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone! On learning his fate, the brave young fighter had one thing to say. Whatever! And this is her daughter, by the way. So you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you. And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked. You're welcome. Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion. The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable. But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only. And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead. He's just itching to get into it. And so are we. It's the Iron Fist of Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the Iron Skin of Team Robomatic. I can take them on my own, you know. Oh, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. Clemency? Never heard of it. My turn. <sighs> Let's go. Hell yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful performance! Cold Dragon Young and his last-minute admirers emerge victorious. Admirers? How come we don't get cool nicknames? Ah, oh, forget it. I think our taste in nicknames is different. Let's get after him. I can't have gotten too far. Let's search nearby. Hey, hey, it's you. I was just thinking to myself, am I getting robbed? 
who are these people following me? So, you know, you start to walk a little faster. And anywho, if I had just turned around, I could have thrown open my arms and said a big hi to my old friends. David, you saw us in there and got scared, so you pulled a runner. Me? Scared? Oh, <laughs> my friends, what do I have to fear? <laughs> Surely I haven't done anything to offend you. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind. If I hadn't made a break for it, Japard would have caught all of us. And do you think he would have given you a chance to explain yourself? Hmm? He would have checked you straight into the Gray Bar Hotel. Meanwhile, there I was, looking out for you from the shadows. Do you know how difficult it was to make an entrance? They were watching you the whole time. I had no choice but to take you guys down here. It was too dangerous for us on the surface. We're wanted criminals. Sure, the underworld has its drawbacks, but at least the guards would never follow us. We're safe here. Be that as it may, did you really have to poison us? Maybe you've forgotten, but we were in a tight spot, my friend. There was no time to think. I had to use whatever I could. Hmm. So, it wasn't to cover anything up? A secret that you didn't want anyone, including us, to find out? <laughs> Don Hung, what secret? Well, I'm not certain yet. But there's more to our friend here than meets the eye. You win. I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. But please, don't get pretty rumors about me. <sighs> All right, to prove my sincerity, I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. Because you're looking for something? Why are you asking? Dan Hung told me you guys were searching for a... a Stellaron. Sounded pretty powerful. If anyone has a clue on its whereabouts, it'll be Wildfire. You said I'd uncover a clue if I became the Fight Club champion. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I if you fought in the final round and won, you'd have incredible street cred right now. Wildfire wouldn't think twice about talking with you. I don't see the problem. Well, there's no such thing as a free lunch, of course. Wildfire has no reason to help you yet, so we'll just have to give them one. With your talents, we have nothing to worry about. I'm telling you, no matter where you go, there's only one rule to getting things done. Find the demand. You know, like supply and demand. Anyway, the underground has been sealed off for more than a decade. But do you think people here are just resigned to their fate? Well, if you want my opinion, they're a bunch of artless, stubborn fools. But who cares what I think, huh? They're a band of do-gooders who sprung up to maintain order in the underground after the Silvermane guards withdrew, wildfire set up shop. Still, don't underestimate them. We walk in the presence of giants. Have you heard that saying before? Well, wildfire has giants in its midst. You'll see. Have a little faith. It's like I said. Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come too hard. <laughs> so, what does Wildfire do all day? Uh, everything. 
They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources, distribute goods. The sliver of trust they have for me has to do with the last one. Huh, where's Joshua? What are those shiny rocks? Ah, this is Geomero, an exothermic ore. The underground and the surface are sealed off from one another, right? Well, only the Geomero transport line is still running. The underground sends ore to the surface, and the surface sends goods to the underground. At least in theory. Most undergrounders are miners, and this is what they mine for a living. You know, if we didn't have Geomero to burn, this world would have frozen to death long ago. All right, let's keep moving. Rich knows looking for us in here. Old Oleg isn't here either? Where is everyone? <laughs> so you're leading us on another wild goose chase? I wouldn't dare. Trust me, we're getting close. <sighs> huh? What's that huge structure in the distance? Oh, Your mama. The core. It's the pillar that connects the underworld and the overworld. Mm -hmm. People used to travel up and down that thing, but then... What? It's a long story. In any case, practically nothing moves up or down anymore. Except you. Oh, come on. Yeah, My dear fellow. Really I thought we weren't going to discuss this. I beg you, the fewer rumors there are about me, the better. No. Oh, maybe. Okay. Okay.
there's trouble. Uh, my friends, don't just stand there. This drama doesn't need any more bystanders. Oh? You know, it might be interesting to see you get in trouble. <sighs> we should avoid attracting too much attention. We can't just leave her. Yeah, now you're getting it. Let's help her. All right, princess. Let's dispense with the pleasantry. <sighs> Miss Zila, phew. It's a good thing you showed up when you did. My heartfelt thanks. These vagrants have got some nerve looking for trouble in wildfire terror. Ah, shut it, Sampo. This is you written all over it. Wildfire has countless issues on its plate right now. We don't need a side order of Koski. I hear a Silvermane guard is paying the underworld a visit. Is that you? You kidnapped me and brought me to the underground. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Listen to her. What is the meaning of this? She still thinks she's an overworld princess. Do you know what's become of us down here while you live the easy life? Did you even consider the fate of the underworlders? Silvermane guards aren't living the easy life. We are constantly engaged with the enemy, defending Bellabog from the scourge of attacking monsters and protecting all those above and below the surface. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself? You protect the underground? Redeploying every guard to the surface? Sealing off the only passageway? Protecting the so-called architect, more like it. The Madam Guardian has her reasons. <laughs> Enough talk. You're coming with me. Chief Oleg wants to see you, and he's got more than a few questions. Perfect, Miss Hila. We were just on our way to pay Chief Oleg a visit ourselves. Room for a few more? Fully booked. Who are they? Does your name by itself? Well, it's like this. The chief's in the market for specific talent. An urgent request, so I'm taking them to see him. Oh, hello! For Acceleron. It's the source of all the disasters here. If we find it, we can... It's going good. This is your first time chatter. I would recommend you not recite your story to everyone you meet. Miss Hila won't understand it anyway, so let's save it for the chief, huh? I'm I'm playing this game for my mother. She's not she's not feeling very well. But we have a sponsor thing going on. So we got to do it anyway. Hold on. Let's see. Work, you stupid bot. Work. Work, curse you, work. Yeah, hold on. There we go. There we go.
Oh. You're right. I don't understand it. And I don't plan on passing the message on either. Wildfire's encountered trouble at the Great Mine. The Chief's busy. If you really want to find him, come look for me at the mine entrance. I'm leaving. Okay, let's... Goodness, fuck. Hello. <laughs> uh, this is still the daughter. No. <laughs> oh.
A little better. Her throat still hurts. I am going to use this. Real quick. Oh. Yeah, maybe maybe it's home. I know. Use it all. Four on. I'm keep stay next to Sissy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Brother Sampo is always up for a chat. Oh. What kind of question is that? Hey, hey, hey. I'm your old pal Sampo Koski. We I know. Thick and thin together. Come here. Come here. Hey. Well, that hey. just means there's something wrong with your question. Questions are like transactions. If your request isn't clear, you might end up buying the wrong thing. Uh, what are what are you planning to do tonight? I I guess I'm not used to having people in my chat. Wildfire are one of my major clients, though the work is mostly odds and ends. Still, it's. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Who am I to complain if the money's right, huh? Zila works for them. Oleg's most trusted lieutenant. Not to her, I'm probably just a wildfire's lapdog. <laughs> yeah, well, but, but a very contented lapdog, I should add. <laughs> Nine bars of white chocolate. Goodness. Your teeth okay? <laughs> Come here. Come here. Yeah, I know. I know. Hold on. As a non member, not a clue. They'd never tell me their ultimate aim. Shame, really. It's not like I'm a blabbermouth. Okay. Oh, pleasure. Until next time. I will be right back. I okay? gotta let my dog see. Ugh. Yes. A uh, woo woo woo. Woo woo woo.
Okie dokie, I am back. Uh. There we go. Didn't I tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. The underground used to have the one we're heading, but with such a large things are much mines are in order to quell the situation. Oh, good. You're. Doctor lady? Nat, I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila, and thank you, yes. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. Miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. <sighs> I heard that many were injured in the clashes, so I hurried over here to see if I could help. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomarrow vein with incredible deposits. <laughs> the initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news. How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. <sighs> I can understand your thinking. It's just that the underground is in difficult straits. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. Oh, that's quite nice of you. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. 
As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people. Relics. Ah. So, like artifacts. Okay. Okay, thank you all very much. That's very, very nice answers. Oh, yeah. The giant orb, the one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Come on, let's get to higher ground and take a look. That person up ahead, is he asleep? Let's head up and take a look. We might need help. <laughs> Place like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey, wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on your head. Hmm? What? Mushrooms, right? I can't see it on the air, me. Huh? Marcela! Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back. Uh, further in, ah, uh, yes. Those thugs took control of the vein ages ago. And they're fully armed. We poor, defenseless, good folks were no match for them. It's only thanks to wildfire that the great mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. You're so familiar. Our leg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. I'm trying not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for um getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a for a nap. Are you who I think you are? She sounds so fucking familiar. I recognize that woman. That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick, let's get up there and see if she's wounded. Elaine, are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, Zila, thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. <sighs> You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. 
neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. New challengers enter. About time. Human only conflicts are so boring. Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. <sighs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. And there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Svarog? That name sounds familiar. <sighs> you remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh, Boss Svarog's robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Robots aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should obey humans unconditionally. That's not the only thing you won't have heard of down here, princess. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it re responding? Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? You idiot. We'll just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some geomara. This is the perfect opportunity. Oh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. You have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can you lose? Let's make it quick. Commencing research. This is our chance. Take this! Uh. Target specimen sighted. <laughs> Clemency? Never heard of it. To travel far away. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all! <laughs> it a lot. The truth of life and death. Revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. <laughs> Fleeing at the first sign of danger. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? Whoa! whoa. What the heck? Beep, beep, beep. Searching. Beep, beep, beep. Voice print detected. Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity! <laughs> Peace Corporation? That's great! Beep, beep, beep! Self-introduction. I am Richard, the Home Use Object Finder. Model information. Version 0 0.63. Professional model. Annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. 
A home use object finder? Who knew the ICC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store to conduct repairs. What? This spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Yeah. something you can't see just call upon find geek that's me <laughs> My turn. Perfect. Now's my chance. Coming through. Just a scratch. Our chance. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Just a scratch. You can't run. Stay right there while I give you a present. Rules are made to be broken. the end of the story in your own way. Hey, what's that commotion? It sounds like there's a big argument happening. Let's get closer and take a look. Cowards and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? <laughs> we ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geomero and hog it all to yourselves. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. 
guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. Really been dry hiding. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team. It's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire are in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. <laughs> wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparag's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. They're getting ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels! I'm going to. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Aha! And who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? With me out here? How can we lose? This is your territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. Take this! Let's make it quick. Perfect. Now's my chance. Try that again. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking the time now. You have the worst luck running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Take this. Oh, Zila, thank goodness you came. We were nearly, uh, <laughs> nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. He's been gone for a while now. <laughs> if Wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. Your run-of-the-mill robots don't have a will of their own. Their aim is merely Svarog's aim. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the Underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? Th that can command robots? I I've never heard of anything like... Hm. Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. Can we still get through? Yeah, we still need to talk with the chief. It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? 
be honest. You guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, we wouldn't be so hard-pressed by Svarog. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? <laughs> sure thing, but uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. I can deal with a few robots. Is this the right way? It looks like there's a roadblock up ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, let's take a closer look. It's completely blocked by the mine card. What do we do? Can we blow it up? Easy. It belongs to the mining team. We can't just destroy it. We should try and fix it. Easier said than done. Do you know how? Yeah, of course. Every underworlder worth their salt knows how to fix a minecart. Let me see. Hmm. Even the pen connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Svarog's minions. We need to find spare parts we can use nearby. We're wasting time. Beep, beep, beep! Do you need to find something? Mindy can help? How come you just jumped out on your own, little fella? Isn't your module thingy broken? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, manual input for search is still operable. Come on, input the name of the object you were looking for. Mindy can help. Oh, well, aren't you confident? Uh, let me give it a try, then. Where's the input interface? Ah, uh, found it. Minecart pin, minecart wheel set, confirmed. Just like that? Beep, beep, beep. Request is being processed. Beep, beep. Successful! Initiating search for lost item. Minecart pin. Beep, beep, beep! Item found. Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. History, I recommend a humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep! Mindy will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interastral peace scientist store. Create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interastral peace scientist store. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep, beep, beep. Interastral peace appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend a humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. You got it. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep, beep, beep. Interastral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep! Mindy will create a calendar reminder for 
when you want to visit an interestoral piece of scientist store. Can you just give him like an item? And when he gets lost, you put in a search for that specific item. And it'll look for it for you. So not only will you find it that item, but you'll find him along with it. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend a humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search... Beep, beep, beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. That's everything. You were a big help, Findy. Beep, beep, beep. It was nothing. Enter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Current search complete. Ah! I'm tuning sleep mode. Please recharge the home use object finder. We're pretty lucky, huh? Without Findy, it probably would have taken half the day to find these parts. Well, not that long. But that little machine definitely made it a lot easier. All right, let's go back and fix the minecart. Are you going to do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You've got to be self-reliant down here. Watch, you might learn something. work you know i didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives but you know how to get your hands dirty the cart is about to depart the robots will have seized the road ahead by now 
We should go carefully. Whoa! Stop! Uh, stop! 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 There's a big evil hunk of metal right there. That model. It's one of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. Let's go. running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. Take this. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This section is but a vision. Right. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Step aside. I have... research to travel far away <laughs> for a tough case like yours we're gonna try them all thanks a lot Never heard of it. The time is now. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's go. Target specimen sighted. This is our chance. Batter up. Rules are made to be broken. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Clemency? Never heard of it. To me. <gasps> Let's go.
Step aside. I have no time now. To travel far away. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, I'm gonna try it all! <laughs> Don't worry about me. The truth of life and death, revealed in an endless is but a vision! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! My turn. Better up. Commencing research. Clemency never hurts. You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this. Let's make it quick. Take this. <laughs> My turn. Let's go. Target specimen coming through. Step aside. I have to. No, you have. Hey. Let's go here, okay. Mine. Oh, yeah. the underground will ever see it fully excavated Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. The time is now. <sighs> Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Coming through. 
have no You have the worst luck when you have this This is what everyone is fighting over. Mr. Sara, it's such a massive bane. I've never seen so much geo marrow before. Calculating. Based on the average rate of excavation, this vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of 7 days. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the ore in question. <laughs> your true intention, Clara. Right. I wouldn't, Mr. Sparag, to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the bane. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparag. It's just, I don't think it'll be enough. You are adorable. And wildfire. They don't understand your actions. If only we could do more for them. My mission <laughs> is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. Sparag! We haven't settled our final score. Zila, subordinate to Wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. Again, calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your BS. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Sparag... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. And more fashionably dressed, too. Uh, hey, is he about to leave? What about the girl in red? We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The furnace core hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come at me! Oh! Okay. <laughs> Okay, I need you to work your magic, little buddy. There you go. Let's make it quick. To travel far away. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all. <laughs> Don't worry about me.
Let's go. Rip. Okay. Specimen sighted. Preparing for collection. <laughs> Clemency? Never heard of it. What's this? Let's go. Commencing research. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This search is but a vision. This is our chance. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's make it quick. Meaningless. Rules are made to be broken. And I only died once. A lot, which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Sparog's forces are too strong. They don't have enough firepower. Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zelo. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mine should be quiet for a while. And, uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. <laughs> That's quite the tone to take on our first meeting. I won't forget you in a hurry. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? <laughs> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This Stellaron you speak of. Never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses sweet words to deceive the our survival. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. Miss Overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns, hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarog. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy? 
Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarag is a cold and unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarag is not against wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. Okay, it's set two hours. After this cutscene, I am going to stop the stream and eat. And then I'll come back. Because I haven't beaten the boss yet. I'm familiar with over 20 long life species. None of them look like you. Hey, would it kill you to play along? Robots don't forget. If Sparog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Sparog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. <sighs> what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... Hmm. It's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll make arrangements. Again? to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. As for our silver maned girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. Yay! Oh. I'm gonna send you. There you go. Just as a data bank requires updating, so I must keep evolving. I got a bunch of these little things. So I'm going to send all of you guys. The faster the progress, the greater the chance of errors. I can't wait to steal your lunch money. Why train daily when you can train twice daily? So you're fun. You call that a build update? <laughs> I can't afford to be complacent. Oh. oh, I don't have any.
A new little buddy. Neat. Hey. Only true companion. Oh. Right. Move carefully. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Commencing research. Try that again. In death, revealed in an instant. This is but a vision. Let's go. I don't want to see him inside. Here, try this. Much better. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Commencing research. Deeper. Much better. To travel far away. Okay. 
Okay, I am going to stop the stream here. And I'm going to make me something to eat. Then I'll be back. Bye-bye.